Welcome to another Curve of New England. Um, today we're going to talk about the new Xperia and our frame sliders. As luck has it, our 13.4 battery frame sliders work perfect on the new Xperia. And this is the easiest installation ever that we've had. So all we need to do is take off this nut assembly here in spacer. This is a seven millimeter Allen, all right, and it's already threaded to the depth that we need of 17 millimeters and the correct thread. So it is a 10 millimeter thread. We take our frame slider and we're going to take a little blue Loctite again. As always, we just need a little dab, all right, and we're going to screw it on. And what I like to do is have the threads uh, for the, the frame slider itself pointing at the 12 o'clock position. And we tighten it right down. So with that tightened down, we then take our puck, and we have the hole for the puck at the, at the six o'clock position. And we take our five millimeter Allen, and we screw it up in. We do not need any lock tight or anything because we're actually screwing right into the uh, plastic. And there you go. And now we have our E1 frame slider installed. And if you do a, a shot down here, we can see where you are protecting um, all the body work. All right, for the right side, we're gonna do the same as the left. I'm gonna take our seven, seven millimeter Allen socket. We're going to remove this side. I'm gonna take our slider. A little dab of blue Loctite, our eight millimeter Allen, Again, we want to orientate the threads to the 12 o'clock position. And tighten that down. And we're going to take our puck and Allen screw and put it on. And then our five millimeter Allen socket. Tighten it up, and that's it. And as you can see on this side as well, our our puck is out further than the bodywork, so we're going to protect the bodywork here. The factory has one down here to protect um, 
the brake lever and we're using ours to protect the top of the body.